What's good? We back and shout out to Mr. DX Factor 87. He had a video request. And if you got a video request or a question, um, you know, the quickest way is to click the description, click the Facebook page, like it, and inbox me there. And uh, we do some good work over there, and I'll inbox you as soon as possible, pretty pretty quick. You can see our response rating is, is very, very uh, good. It's at 100%. And trying to get that time down. But, you know, his question was, his request was, what do we got to do to get these guys to fight more than three times a year? And that's an excellent, excellent question. And I believe networks working with each other. I think, you know, you know, networks putting their fight dates together, you get you get more fights. Premier boxing champions are, are limiting their fighters to fighting once and twice a year because you know fight dates are scarce. They're they're limited, and that's what it is. A lot of these networks fight fight dates are limited. Now Showtime added some fight dates, but they're still limited. I mean, Premier boxing champions got one of the largest rosters. Out there, and all you know, they, and then a lot of they guys don't be fighting each other. You're not getting the best fights, so they don't have that many fight days. So number one, the networks will have to work together to 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 make the fights that you want to see. And if if ESPN, HBO, and Showtime all work together, CBS, Fox, you know whatever True TV, I don't know if they're doing it no more over there at top rank. If they all work together, you have more fight days. You have you know better fights. And you putting, you know, you putting your you putting your dates together, so you'd be like, yeah, well, Al, I got, you know, Lomachenko over here. You know, do you want, you know, you Robertson Jr. available to fight him? I can't find nobody to fight him. You know, he, I mean, we, this is what we offering him. If, see if you like to offer, send him over. Cool. You know, HBO. HBO can have way more fights than, dates than they have. You know, their first quarter sucks. They can. They can have more. But they don't have, they don't have the, they don't have the, the they don't have the people. They don't have the fighters to fill, fulfill those fight dates that they want to, uh, that they really want to have, and the, and the fights that they really want to put on. They don't have the fighters to do it. So that's one. Two is the, the fighters got to be willing to fight more than once a year, and they not. Obviously, you know, Mr. DX would say, "Do we got to cut their pay?" Obviously, that would be a way, or you know, it'd be incentive if you know you fight three times a year. You know, give them an incentive or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you fight three times a year, you know what? We can give you a fight in your hometown, Danny Garcia, Philly. You know, I know I don't know if he ever fought for Philly. I never seen some of his major fights in Philly, but you know, we get a, a, a fight at home. One of your three fights out of the year. You fight more than three times if you want to fight four. But a lot of times it's limited. Like I told you, a lot of these these promoters and networks don't work together, so they only have so many fight dates. So you only can see Earl Spence once a year the last few years, a couple years I believe once. You know, that's what you see. A lot of these guys also are holding on for mandatory shots or waiting it out, knowing that they have a name and. They're waiting on, you know, the guy, you know, a champion like Keith Thurman. And they know that they're going to bring a lot of money for Keith Thurman. And, and Keith Thurman don't want to fight Earl Smith. So, a lot of them are waiting it out. Waiting for mandatory shots. You know, they be number one and they just rather wait it out. Like Sean Porter really don't want to fight Danny Garcia for real. He said he'd rather just wait it out for Keith Thurman. But now that Keith Thurman is, he's uh, he don't know what he's going to do. And if he injured himself in a rematch, then Sean is doing this a disservice when he could have got multiple fights in this year. So waiting on Keith Thurman, that ain't that ain't good. So he's gonna go ahead and fight Danny Garcia. And I think he is. I think Danny would oblige that obligation as well. But these guys gotta want it. They gotta want to fight more than once a year. Three times more than two, two two times a year. They gotta want to. They can perfectly find like Danny Garcia made one point two five million dollars versus Brandon Rios. A layup, a wide open layup. With nobody in the gym. That's what that fight was. It was a it was a slam dunk. It's like you dunking an Oreo into some milk. You can't miss. Even a blind man can miss it. And, you know, if you're making that type of money, why do I need to fight, you know, a tough fight, you know, two more times a year? Why? I'm making $1.25 million plus I'm investing my money. Al showed me how to invest my money, stock, bonds, real estate. He helped me build houses that I want. I mean, I'm cool. I don't have to go out there and do it. I can stay sharp in the gym. And put the hours in the gym, and I come back and fight when I'm ready. Like Gary Russell, he ain't want to fight more than once a year. That's his aim is to fight once a year. I know he got the hand injury, but he ain't really aiming to be great. Keith Thurman really ain't aiming to be great. <laughs> they happy with just fighting once a year because a lot of these guys want to protect their record. Don't buy into that Keith Thurman. Oh, I got an O, and I'm not scared to let it go no more. Shit, you buying into that? Chaos for life. Keith Thurman, one time, sometime, one time Thurman. Nah, he's sometime Thurman. You know, to prove otherwise, but. 
like I said, first first off, let me re- let me let me reorder this. The, the boxers got to fight more than once. You got to want to fight more than two times a year. Let me say that once more than one and two times. They got to want to. They're comfortable making what they're making. And when they don't fight more than once a year and they come back and they don't get the fights they want, guess what Uncle Al does? Uncle Al overpays them. Oh, uh, oh, you didn't get the fight that you wanted, Keith. Uh, Robert Guerrero or, or Floyd don't want to fight. He got $2.5 million to fight Leonard Bundle. Unless he, yes, he got two point five. The same how, the same reason why that, you know, Earl Smith got 3.5. And people say, well, it was only reported at 1.5. Yeah, because he got fronted 2.5 off the books to face Lamont Peterson. Same thing with, 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 with Thurman. That investment firm, whatever's going on, they fronted Keith Thurman money because he didn't get the fight that he wanted. It must be something to contract. If Al doesn't get this fight or if I don't get this type of fight, this type of money by this time, well, I'm entitled to this. And I think that's what it is. I'm not you know, 100% sure about the business side of the contract. But a lot of guys over there don't get the fights they want, like Earl and Keith. They get fronted a lot more money in, in a fight than what it than what it's worth. And if you got that type of security, why do you want to fight one, more than twice a year or more than once a year when you're making $2.5, three, $1.7 million for the year? And then you invest in your money, so your $1 million is probably kicking out, shit, at least three, $4 million at the end of the year because you invest your money right. Why? So at the end of the day, they don't have to. And if you don't have to do something, how many people out there going to do it? If you don't have to go down that route and you can just chill and sit on your hind side and just, you know, and do what you do, you're not going to have to do it. But if some, if it's cutthroat, if it's pressure, and you know you got to go to this shitty job every day. You know, and you got to pay bills, you got to survive. So if you have to do something, you're going to do it. But if you don't have to... Human nature said you're not gonna do it. You're gonna take another route. You're gonna take the scenic route. And these guys don't have to fight more than once a year, more than twice a year. And they have to want it. Let's go review it real quick. They have to want to fight more than one, two times a year. Networks have to work together. They have to have fight dates on their own network for that. And that's what it is. That's basically what it boils down to. Or they gotta have incentives like we went over. The incentives is okay. If you fight three times a year, Danny, I'll let you get a fight in Philadelphia. Or I'd like to get the fight in the venue that you want. Or, you know, we can give you, you know, whatever. You know, whatever you're looking for. Extra money if you fight three times a year. And that's what it's going to be. We're gone.